Hi students, let us continue with the software maintenance model. So in the previous video, I explained about the quick fix model and the iterative enhancement model. Now coming to the third model, that is a full reuse model. So how this uh, is working, let us see. The reuse model has four main steps. It, it is going to follow the four main step. First, identification of the parts of the old system that are candidates for reuse. First, you have to identify the old system, the parts of the old system, which may are uh, useful for the next, means reuse. Some parts will be there that you can mean some part of the code or you can take the hardware or the software, whatever it may be. That is, again, you can chance for reusing. So, try to identify the parts of the old system that are useful for reuse. After that, understanding these system parts. Okay, whatever the parts you have identified for reuse. Now, understand these system parts. Means from where you can put these uh, parts. After that, modification of the old system parts appropriate to the new requirement. So, you just modify the old system parts. Which is appropriate to, means which is suitable for your new requirements. Just take the old parts which are reusable. First study on that parts and try to modify the old system parts which is uh, fit for the new requirements. Integration of the modified part into the new system. So if you want to reuse the model, whatever the model that you have already created in the old system, if you want to reuse that model, first identify the parts which can be reused. Means uh, if, uh, if you take some of the softwares that should be, uh, means they are given some certification means they are not supposed to pa uh, patents they are not supposed to use in anything okay if they are that software is a patent if some ad is a patent you are not supposed to copy that so you have to take all those things which are not uh, able to copy so you have to identify the parts which are only reuse you have to take that and if you want you can uh, Add modifications to that uh, which are fit for your new requirements and finally integrate uh, of the modified parts into new system. So this is a full reuse model. So you can maintain the system like this. Okay, And here you can see uh, this is a component library present. Here the whole system you are taking the components from the library which are uh, useful for reuse. This is the old system which can be reused. The old system is uh, can be uh, converted into new system by using the library components. So in the same way requirement analysis, design, source code, text data, everything. So whatever uh, that will be useful for reuse that we can uh, take in from this component library. Again, you can develop the new system. Uh, by taking the components, try to integrate with these uh, uh, requirement analysis and try to design source code and test data. So that is about the reuse model and the next model is the Bohm's model. Here the Bohm proposed a model for the maintenance process based upon the economic models and principles. So he is a person who proposed the uh, system uh, means completely based upon the uh, the maintenance process is completely based upon the economic models and principles. The BOM represents the maintenance process as a closed loop cycle. He's he's constructed one type of uh, maintenance process that should be in a closed loop cycle. Now let us see what is how he constructed the closed loop cycle. So this is a cycle. So first he changes the proposed first, and then uh, changes are made. The management decisions has to be taken first. Approve the changes. First is try to approve the changes and try to change the implementation and the new version of a software will be developed. So the new version of the software is developed. Next is the proposed changes. This is approved. Okay, already approved and the implementation is done. A new version of software is released. Okay, so then the, again they are proposed some changes. After the... Uh, they propose some change means still you can do better okay means after the uh, new version released again uh, some people uh, that uh, company organization or the management has taken a decision the management has taken a decision okay the developers whatever you developed is very good but i need some more uh, points that you have to be added some more features that you have to be added that is a proposed changes so after that whenever the 
developers has taken the proposed changes even though now new version of software is ready they try to modify the new version of software by taking the proposed changes after that they try to evaluate that project and finally they will get the results and that will be the management is going to be take the decision okay so the maintenance completely everything will be done on the after the completion of the existing system only means whatever the system that is there after the existing system only the problem will be raised means the customer doesn't satisfy the management doesn't satisfy if the faults are occur then you have to try to maintain the software so this is one type of model next is a tort maintenance model uh, the tort maintenance model it is a typically maintenance model and has eight phases in cycle fashion so here totally eight phases will be there that will be in a cycle fashion now let us see what are the eight phases that are present in the tort maintenance model so there are eight phases one two three four five six seven eight phases so the first is change request okay the uh, the maintenance means you have to start with the change request only the change requirements only because why we starting from change the change has to be done already on the existing system only already delivered project only so that is the maintenance the maintenance work will start at that point only after the completion of the product only the maintenance will be start so first start with the change request okay the changes has to be done whatever the changes that has to be taken and on that we have to try to estimate so how how long it takes to complete these requirements uh, what is the price cost that has to be estimated so after that they have to be scheduled okay after scheduling they try to program implementation after implementation they try to test and then documentation the final documentation and they try to release and then execute for the operation okay so still if the operations are satisfied by the customer or the management okay it is try to deliver delivered and try to work on the environment otherwise i again start with the change request so this is the uh, tots requirement uh, tots model thank you